God's Wisdom for a Fair and Just World by Dr. Jim Richards Chapter 13 The Great Shaking In Matthew 24, verse 7, Jesus continues, quote, And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. The word pestilence is not in the Bible's original language, although it would not be assumed it would occur. Famines and earthquakes are, however, in the original text. It is extremely important to understand that God causes none of the things Jesus described in these scriptures. These are not acts of God, they are acts of man. In the communist takeover of Europe and China, famine was an economical means of eliminating millions of people. Famine provides plausible deniability for those who created the problem. The masses are convinced these are acts of nature. Religious people say it is an act of God. In the end, God gets blamed for that which evil people do. Famine can be translated scarcity of food or hunger. It does not explicitly mean the lack of food because of natural factors like flooding or drought. More people have died of starvation in modern times because of deliberately engineered famine. Venezuela was a prosperous nation just a few years ago. They were seduced by the lies of socialism. In 2017, people in Venezuela lost an average of a little more than 24 pounds per person. Once again, The promise of socialism manifested in elitism, diverting all the available resources to the elite. Earthquakes are on the rise around the globe. Even earthquakes are the result of man's destruction of the earth. Wherever dams are built, there is an increase in earthquake. The weight of the water in man-made lakes cannot be supported by the earth. Likewise, It is insane to think that we can extract millions of gallons of oil out of the earth and not have geological shifts. Underground nuclear testing, no doubt, contributes to these problems. Interestingly, the Greek word earthquake can mean a shaking of any kind. All of the world's crises mentioned above will certainly cause a shaking. That's what they're designed to do. The elitists want to shake your hope and faith in God. They want you to feel so desperate and helpless that you will sell your soul for food or protection. The Bible speaks of a time that many theologians call the great falling away. People will abandon their faith and turn away from God. Religion has convinced most of the world that these horrible events are the wrath of God. The church that was supposed to establish our faith will be a tool that undermines faith. Who will trust God if they believe God is causing the horrors that kill innocent children? The strategies of the elitist is to create such fear, hardship, and desperation that you will have to turn to the government to save you. When you are alienated from God in your heart, they have accomplished their ultimate goal. Their goal is not to simply control you. The ultimate goal is to use you as a pawn. The only pain they can bring to God is to destroy the human race for which Jesus died.